Good morning, modern steaders. We got a heavy, heavy frost last night. 25 degrees out this morning. You gonna freeze your butt off on the bus? No. No? You better not. Stay warm. Okay. Love you. Love you. Have a good day at school. Okay. Bye. Bye. Got a nice frost on our cabbage. Have to make sure we warm up Gina's car good before she heads out to work. I don't know who likes the opening in the rock wall more. Me, Pluto, or Olivia. And Gina likes it too. The good thing about it being so cold is the ground froze up. Uh, I guess we better warm up the excavator for a little while before we start working. While the excavator warms up, I'll get the cameras and everything ready and set up. It's supposed to warm up today, but it's still kind of cold out right now. I don't think it's typical gear to work in an excavator, but it's what we need to bring. We need our harnesses, our head strap, tripod, suction cup mount, and the GoPro. I picked up diesel fuel the other day. So that way today, if you need some, I don't gotta worry about stopping and running to town. Trying to figure out the best course of action today so we can be the most productive. The excavator is only going to be here another week to two weeks most. So I want to get this area finished cleaning up. So I think we need to cut down some of the trees, leave the stumps. But if we get to cut up with the chainsaw we can come back in here in a little bit with the excavator and just start pulling stumps and go to town. I think if we pull the trees with the stumps in here there's not enough room for working with the excavator. We're gonna make more of a mess and more work later on with the chainsaw. <laughs> That's the hard part out here. A lot of these trees in this old livestock lane, 
they're really nice. We've got some nice maples, we got some nice birches, some ash, but they're so close, they're not gonna grow up healthy. I wish a lot of these hardwoods were elsewhere on the property, like the boundary lines. So I'm cleaning it up in here to keep the trees that are here healthy. I don't wanna have a bunch of unhealthy trees. It sounds kind of counterproductive, but. This cherry that's on top of the wall needs to come down too and we'll keep one of these maples and that one and then two of those birches is gonna are gonna go Let's get the excavator and knock them over. They're tangled together. I'm gonna clean this up and we'll be right back. That tree has to come down. It's too close to that maple. It's not gonna do any good. It won't grow healthy. <laughs> I hate to have to take down this maple, but it's in between a maple there and an apple tree there. So it's gotta go.
hard to get without destroying the rocks. Look at that. That thing's crazy. Put some rocks back around it. It'll look nice.
that's where I got to stop for the day. It's not quite as far as I wanted to get. I was hoping to get one, two, three. This batch of trees taken down. I want to get this cleaned up. Leave this flat rock. And I believe that's a hemlock or a cedar growing right there off of the stone wall. And I want to have that like the entranceway to the old lane with this maple on this side. And then I can't wait to get these rocks picked up and the rock wall reorganized right here. I would love to know, it looks like it ended here at one point and it was flat entranceway. So it's kind of cool looking. I want to bring that back to life and just remove these trees and those bigger rocks, just pile them up where the chainsaw is. So that we'll have to do tomorrow. I think it's coming along pretty good in here. I'm really happy with it. I moved a bunch of stones right here and widened it up and picked it up both sides. It's looking nice. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go walk through the new alley? Yeah. Yeah, and I have to break your neck. You're gonna break my neck? Oh, if you fell over the rock wall. It's raining out. What the heck? Here it is. It's sunny and rainy. Yep. Be careful. Oh, you broke your neck. You saw that I moved the energizer to this side. I know, she must be molten. Yeah, I was gonna say the other one didn't look like that. She must be molten. Hell you stuck? Yeah. You're stuck! You Got it. Not no more. Wow. They really slowed up, huh? Eggy wuggies. Can you see the rainbow, guys? Olivia's all excited. You can see it on camera, Olivia's. You can? Yeah, there's a rainbow. I was just thinking, is there a rainbow? Yeah, there it is. And I just looked up and I was like, there's a rainbow. Yeah, and it goes up and over and ends over oh, there. Oh, yeah, it does. Pretty cool. You can actually, actually, you can actually see the purple. You can, yeah. That's a really good rainbow. It's starting to fade on that. Well, it's starting to fade through the clouds. Yeah, it's not strong through the clouds. That's a nice bright one. I like it. We actually got it on camera too. We do. Which is the nice part. It's a rainbow! Come out and see the rainbow goats! Look, it's, a rainbow. Look, it's right it's a rainbow. there! It's right there, Livies! <laughs> do you see the rain? That's not nice, Willow. What? Just trying to bite Blossom's ear. Look, look at the rainbow. Look at the rainbow, you foolish goat. <laughs> Olivia and I were so excited about the rainbow, we forgot to end the vlog. But I'm getting so excited to see how this old livestock lane turns out and getting the rock wall picked up man it's just gonna look so good just appreciate all you guys coming along on our journey with us if it wasn't for you we wouldn't be doing what we're doing so just want to encourage you to do the same start on your journey and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom